So I'm about to face my biggest fear. Yikes. Afraid of what? I am terrified of heights. Nope. And I'm going to conquer that fear by going skydiving. Well, indoor skydiving. But that didn't mean I still wasn't nervous. Help. And after watching everybody else while waiting for my turn, I got even more scared and tried to bounce. I don't want to do this. No, it'll be fun. Nope. Baby, I'm out. But I got pulled right back into it. Oh, and the worst part? I was following a toddler. Time to man up. It was finally my turn. And the kid was a natural. I kept trying to go higher and higher. Until the instructor said, screw it, and took me for a ride. But the best part was when they let me go bananas on my own. Which got out of hand. And when it was done, I no longer had a fear of height. What? So the first time I heard Penny speak <coughs> was shocking. <coughs> it's just a bird. Take it. <coughs> There's a bird outside. So these princesses got me jealous. Shaking my head. Who's there? Well, we came here with a boatload of creators. Tag anyone you recognize. But if you mean princesses, like all of them. It was princess week and Kristen was loving it. Literally getting attention from every single one. Over and over and over again. Where's my kiss? But the moment that I started getting a little attention. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh my God, guys. PJ is actually speaking words like English words. I'm going to show you. PJ. Where you at, Captain Poop? J oh, hey. What up? In honor of Pudgy, let me get an awa awa. <laughs> So our puppy ran away. Bye-bye. Mm. Come on. Penny doesn't like her because PJ's bigger, uh -huh. somehow stronger, and apparently sneakier. Once I saw that door open, I knew PJ was gone. So I toured through the neighborhood. PJ! Even printing out and hanging up flyers. But about 30 minutes into my search, I got a phone call. Hello? Hey, are you the guy that lost the dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got her. I'm, I'm right back at the yoga studio. I'll be right there. I rushed over to meet the guy. But as soon as I got there, he explained that she was too squirrely. And that she escaped and went around the corner. I knew this is the closest I was going to get to finding her. And as soon as I rounded the corner, I saw her. PJ! Babe. Huh? Impressions challenge. Okay. Harley Quinn. Nothing comes between me and Mr. J. Lilo and Stitch. A Hanuman's family. Crocodile Hunter. Boy, cry. Maid Marian. Oh, Robin, I'm so happy. Ariana Grande. Hey. Britney Spears. I think I did it again. Gollum. Stupid hobbitses. Mickey Mouse. Huh? Oh, boy. Lois from Family Guy. It seems today that all you see is violence and movies and sex on TV. Oh, nailed it. So our puppy's back and still a monster. Hey! She's an animal. Yeah, she is. After her surgery, we were hoping that she'd calm down. But we were wrong. She's actually crazier than ever. You know it. Yeah, I do. And so does Penny. PJ's now bigger than Penny. Uh -huh. Stronger than Penny. And finds herself getting in way more trouble than Penny. <clears throat> I wonder where she got that from. <sighs> and yesterday, before taking PJ to the park to film, I went upstairs to grab my keys. But when I came back, the gate was down. And Penny looked kind of concerned. I rushed downstairs hoping to see PJ. But instead, found my worst nightmare. No, 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 no. PJ! So the other day, I walked downstairs and saw Penny balling out of control. And I was like, what the heck? Give me that. Oh, by the way, I'll take those too. So in my massive state of confusion, I asked her, where did you get this? Uh, so I think we found Bigfoot. Huh? That's Cap. Your Cap. After hiking miles into our remote destination, we took a ride on the paddleboard. And immediately had a rock thrown at us. What? And the first night, we heard some crazy noises outside. When I went to check the tape, I saw either Bigfoot or some lunatic in a costume. Either way, it wasn't good. Just to be safe, I had to test our defenses. And that bear mace is no joke. <laughs> on night two, it was back, and this is what happened. Did you hear that? Oh, uh, something was just thrown out of the tent. I'm gonna grab the spare mace and go after it. Oh god. So my dogs tried to ruin Father's Day. <laughs> they always seem to be getting into my stuff. Hey! Attempting to bite me. Ow! Or messing with my junk. Oh! I got, I got it. you! Nope. Yes. Yeah, I guess. It's usually pretty easy to spot their tricks. Whoopee cushion, huh? Not gonna fall for that. <laughs> but now I think they're teaming up with Kristen to try and prank me. Oh god, look away! I already exposed one of their tricks. They're gonna have to do better than that. I doubt they will. But what if they do? Wanna find out? Just go here. So our dogs destroyed our living room. <laughs> Sorry, are ya? Yep. Uh -huh. yep. So we just got back in town from our trip to Florida. And there was about a half an hour between when our dog sitter left and when we got home. And right away, things were off. You both look guilty. For starters, there was crap everywhere. And the garbage just being consumed. But by far, the worst part was the couch, which I'm assuming PJ was responsible for. Oh. And when I called our dog sitter to show him the destruction, he couldn't believe it either. Huh. And of course, I had cameras set up all around the house. Hey! And what we discovered was absolutely mind-blowing. Go here to see the footage. Okay, all right, you just gotta oh, let him go, let him go, let him go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe it's working, look at he's flying. Oh, what's up, Magoo, what are you doing over here? What you... <laughs> oh, yeah, right. So I definitely think my fiance's cheating. Hmm. Let it go. I can't. After suspiciously bouncing for three days in a row, I decided to get a sneak peek at her phone by turning on mirror mode while she was in the shower. And right away, she started texting somebody named Party Animal about their plans for this weekend. The next day, she left again. Except this time, she was on to me. I took a peek over the balcony and noticed that she was leaving on foot, which means I get to follow her. I rushed outside and saw her heading in the direction of the store. I tried to maintain my distance in order to keep a low profile. And she was going to the store, probably for her party. So I beelined it to the party supply. And sure enough, I found her. 
Oh, I bet that's for her party date. So I think one of us is sleepwalking. Huh? It was you. Yeah, it could be. But I don't really have a history of doing weird stuff like this. And I know it definitely wasn't the puppy. So I set up some cameras to try to get answers. And last night, I thought I found some. But I was mistaken. And when I came downstairs this morning, everything looked normal. Until I noticed this. And when I reviewed the tape again, I made a crazy discovery. Like and follow for part three. Your mom's so dumb. Yeah? She brought a spoon to the Super Bowl. Okay, your mom's so dumb she thought Dunkin' Donuts was a basketball team. Don't talk about <laughs> my mama. <laughs> oh! Your mom's so dumb. Huh. She got hit by a parked car. Huh? Your turn. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. Your mom is great. Don't talk about no, 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 my no, no, mama. No, 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 oh! Penny, it's my birthday. How old are you? I don't want to answer that. How old? Uh, let's just sing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, that's right. So maybe doing this prank wasn't the best idea. You've all seen this, where you'd scream near your person's phone. Well, my attempt ended up seeing an uh, unsavory text message exchange, which subsequently resulted in me following my person. Creeping on her at the store in the uh, booze section. Getting caught in 4K. Getting caught again outside and being yelled at. I know what you're doing. Go home. Taking the total walk of shame home. Yikes. And walking into your house to something completely unexpected. All right, family, Papa's up. Mini Fruit Ninja. So the other day, I walked into my dogs playing some weird game they invented. Where they were rolling dice and pushing toy cars. I didn't get it, but it looked fun and I asked if I could play. And they said, no. And, no. That sucks, but whatever, I decided to sit down and watch anyway. Then I thought, this game looks really familiar. When it hit me, they must have downloaded the game Dice Push. Which is almost exactly the same. You roll a die to add dudes to your side. Or roll the die on their side to knock their guys out. Once you've got momentum, just double up for the final push. Ha <laughs> I won! Was this your inspiration? No. What about you? Go away! Uh. Just the one. So I think I've been sleepwalking. Whoopsie. Told ya. Yeah, I know. After discovering that our window got cheese slapped, I checked the tape and discovered that I was the one responsible. I couldn't believe it. But even more unbelievable was waking up inside the puppy's cage this morning to a living room that was completely destroyed. Slop everywhere. And puppy just chilling. And when I went to check the tape, I couldn't believe the things that I saw. <laughs> Go here right now to see the end. So I think my fiance might be cheating. Hmm. Not again. Yep. For the last three days, she's been taking off at the same time. Without saying a word. And when I finally asked her where she's been going every day, she said, Don't worry about it. So when she left today, you know I had to get on my horse and follow but her. But when I opened the door, I saw her getting into an Uber. Which was irritating. But then a new plan hit me. Patiently sit until she got home. Wait for her to go upstairs to take a shower. Run up the stairs after her. Quietly grab her phone. And set it to mirror mode so I could get a peek at what she was doing. And this is what I found. Okay, here we go. She's texting somebody named Party Animal. We still on for this weekend? You know it? What the weather in Portland be like? So our puppy is a genius. Ah! She's not a puppy. You're right. She's more like a teenager. But either way, she's pulling off some genius level maneuvers. Like using a slinky as a doorstop. And now getting on top of the counter. Which doesn't sound that impressive. Until you consider that she can't even jump on the bed. What? So I set up a camera. And a couple hours later, she was up there again. And after a quick rescue. Get over here. I immediately went to check the tape. I thought for sure she was going to use the chair. Instead, she's just freestyling it over there in the corner. All for a half-eaten bowl of dog food. Which still doesn't make sense because she can't climb the bed either. So I rechecked the tape and I couldn't believe what I saw.
So PJ's officially a teenager, and maybe we can actually get her to talk like Penny. Let's go find her. PJ! Oh. Hey. Let's hear some words. Hey! Our puppy is still a monster. Ah! Puppy crazy. She's hardly a puppy. More like a crazy teen that still fights with Penny and steals her toys. Yep. There are definitely sweet moments, but then it's right back to Cray. She's even pulling some genius level escape moves, like turning this slinky into a spring for the gate. Truly mind blowing. <sighs> oh, and remember the couch that she destroyed? Because I do. Since going underneath it is no longer an option, she's decided to destroy something more accessible. Ooh, Robbie's getting angry. But today there was a new development in her abilities. Getting on top of the counter. No, 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 no. How is she doing that? So I set up a camera to see if I could catch her in the act. So our puppy is a complete monster. <sighs> She sucks. Don't say that. She might be listening. Oh my god. Not only has she destroyed expensive equipment and human fingers, ow, but also our entire couch. And when I went to take a closer look, I noticed some random items stashed in the back, including my favorite hat. But then I thought, how is she getting that in there? So I stashed a couple of cameras, one inside the couch and one in the living room so I could watch it happen in real time. Last thing to do is set out the bait. And this is what happened. Ooh, she got it. She got it. All right, let's see where she takes it. Go here right now to see the end. What does a train sound like? Choo choo. Yeah, okay, that's accurate. What does a chicken sound like? Cockle doodle doo. You sure? Yep. Cockle doodle? Yep. yep. What do I sound like? An idiot. Hey! So our puppy is a complete monster. <sighs> she sucks. Don't say that. She might be listening. Oh my god. Not only has she destroyed expensive equipment and human fingers, Ow! but also our entire couch. And when I went to take a closer look, I noticed some random items stashed in the back, including my favorite hat. But then I thought, how is she getting that in there? So I stashed a couple of cameras, one inside the couch and one in the living room so I could watch it happen in real time. Last thing to do is set out the bait. And this is what happened. Ooh, she got it. She got it. All right, let's see where she takes it. I got this. That's a tight fit. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. So I think Penny's trying to get rid of our puppy. Mm, I'm not. Oh yeah? That's definitely not what I saw from the footage. That showed Penny trapping puppy in the closet and locking her outside on the patio. And when I came downstairs yesterday morning, the puppy was gone. And Penny was looking pretty sus. I immediately checked the patio and the closet and found nothing. The next logical place to look was the front door. But both the gate and the front door were closed. But all of a sudden, I heard the puppy whining with Penny standing next to the cabinet. And sure enough, when I opened it up, out came the puppy. How did she do that? The only way to get answers was to set up even more cameras. I don't know. Now we just have to wait and see what we find. Like, so I think Penny's trying to get rid of the puppy. Yikes. She sucks. Don't say that. At first I caught Penny trying to lock her in the closet. Which kind of looked like an accident. But after seeing the unbelievable footage of Penny shutting the door on PJ, I was convinced that this was intentional. And didn't really know what to do. But over the next couple of days, they seemed to be getting along great. Until this morning, when I discovered PJ missing from her cage. Her cage door opened. And Penny chilling, looking real guilty. Penny, where's the puppy? I immediately ran outside and checked the patio. But there was no sign of her. Next I ran to the storage closet. Where I looked inside the dog food. And even the garbage can. But she was nowhere to be found. Where did she go? Like and follow for part four. I don't think my fiancé loves me anymore. Oh, God. You think? Yeah, I feel like we've been growing apart and fighting constantly. I didn't know what to do, but then it hit me. I was going to surprise her with a trip to the last Blockbuster video, which is only three hours away. I blocked her on TikTok so she wouldn't see my plan. But as I was booking the trip, I almost got caught. What you doing? Uh, I'm just working. That makes sense. Whoa, close call. After making the reservation, I had one more thing to grab. Something she's wanted to do for a while. I rented a Tesla. Now that everything's done, it's time to put my plan into action. Pack a bag. We're leaving town. So today's the day that I surprise my fiance. With what? I'm taking her to the last Blockbuster video. After a quick stop at our cabin and releasing a bird from fireplace imprisonment. You're free. We finally arrived. Open your eyes. <laughs> she was so excited. Mainly because this place brought back so many memories of our childhood. They even had memorabilia from a bunch of different Russell Crowe movies. I'd say this was a massive success. But I had one more surprise. Alright babe, I will buy you one thing in this store. You have 10 seconds. It could be a movie, it could be a t-shirt, anything you want. Ready? Go. I want this. <laughs> Excuse me, how much for the Russell Crowe shirt? So I think somebody's watching us. Uh, this sucks. Yes, it does. It started with this comment on one of our videos. Uh, Penny and I spent hours looking out the window until we saw this guy. Oh my god, he saw me. When I took another look, he was heading straight for my front door. I grabbed some protection and went to check it out. But by the time I got there, he was already rounding the corner. The next day, he was back. And I ran downstairs to put an end to this. Hey! As soon as I yelled at him, he started walking away. Yeah, that's what I thought. But sure enough, he was back for a third day in a row. This time around, I had my friend Lester, who's a pretty big dude, to help me scare off this clown once and for all. Go here right now. 